I'm gonna show you the new way of creating professional logos without having any graphic design or tech skills. I created all of these logos using artificial intelligence, AI, and what's really cool about this tool I'm about to show you is you could color it the way you want, change its font, and do whatever you want, just like a professional would, except you don't have to have professional skills like I do. I've been doing this for over 20 years, and I almost, feel really bad for graphic designers now because of these AI tools that allow you to create unique professional logos like the ones you see here. So without further ado, let's get into how I created these logos and how you could create a logo for your business or your brand that's really professional. And let's get started now. I'm going to create a logo for my friend. He owns a lake house and he wants to rent it out. The first thing you want to do is go to Logo Maker without the E, L O G O M A K R. That's Logo Maker without the E. I'll put it in the link below and go ahead and click on Start My Design. It's going to open it up to some choices where you could replace a template and you could click on these and replace all the templates and stuff. But I'm going to show you how to make an original graphic with the AI generator. So go ahead and click on new AI logo generator and it's gonna open it up to something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Lake House right here for my friend and I'm gonna put in Lake House Rental right there. What does your business do? We do Lake House Rentals. Okay, click on that and it's gonna create a scenario or a suggestion for your icon. So this is really cool. The AI actually starts working for you immediately and it says, hey, here's a sketch of a lake, blah, blah, blah. If this is something you don't want, you could go ahead and change this to whatever you do want. But I kind of like this. If you want a different suggestion, all you have to do is just click new icon suggestion and it will create a new suggestion for you. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this suggestion because it's kind of cool. And I'm going to press generate graphics right here now it's going to start generating graphics for you these are all original graphics meaning you could copyright these graphics as long as it's not something else you know, like batman or some other uh, imagery that's already out there most of these images are pretty amazing i mean look at this right here this is super cool this would take me literally hours to create six of these different ones by hand. This is absolutely amazing. And now they give you templates that you could just click on and start changing the colors and the text. If you want to give other samples, you could go here and just click on change font and it'll give you different fonts or different colors. And you could just start clicking on these to get different colors. I'm going to go ahead and go with this one right here and I'm gonna click customize and download. This is so cool because this is literally a graphic that nobody else has. It looks amazing and now you could start coloring it and really tweaking it to what you want. So I like this green, it's kind of a forest green. I'm gonna copy this because I want that to be in the background as well and I wanna paste it on here. So here are all your layers. So you got this layer, if you don't want the layers, you could just get rid of the layers. And and you have this layer and this layer. And you could add more layers if you wanted to add more text. You could do that. I'll show you how to do that. Or if you want something else in here like, I don't know, another tree or something else like that, you could start adding other stuff. But I'm going to stick with this because it looks pretty nice. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and change some of this green. I want to match this green. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna grab this background right here, which is this triangle, rectangle, sorry. And I'm gonna paste that in there. Okay, there you go. And if you wanna change the circles around here, you just go to one of the circles here and you go to the outline and you could change the circle of the outline if you wanted to. There's the, this, this one right here and there's two outlines. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this one and then I'm gonna to go to this outline and I'm gonna change that one and I'm gonna make that a little darker. There you go. And then I wanna change this color as well to that. And then I'll just put rentals uh, or rentals, something like that, I don't know. 
Uh, and there you go. There's your professional logo that you just made. You could always scale it, make it bigger or smaller. If you want to right click and flip it around, if you don't like the position, you could do that. You could right click, flip it horizontally or vertically like that. If you wanna change the font, click on that and go up here and start changing the font. And actually, I like that font a lot. I'm gonna keep that font. That looks really, really good. Once you're done, you could go ahead and press save up here. So just click save and it's gonna process this into a web-based format and print-based format and you'll be able to own all the license, it, license to it and you could copyright it since you know all these are original uh, as well once you purchase this. So once you purchase it, you'll own all the rights to it and you're gonna get all the professional files to it, the printing files and the web-based files. So go ahead and click on download options. And here you're gonna get some options to download the files. I typically go with the pro because when I like my logo, I want to be able to change it and they give you four edits to change. So if you want a different color or you wanna reposition something or you want a totally different logo later on, that's gonna be in your account and they give you that. So I go with that. And also I go with this because it gives you the social media files and the uh, vector files as well. So go ahead and click on this one, put in your name, your email, and your password, and then choose between if you want credit card or Stripe. I typically just go with credit card and then check out. Once you get all your files, they're gonna be vector files and they're gonna be high resolution and you own all of the rights to the files. So that's super cool. A lot of these companies don't give you vector files where you could zoom in and it you could zoom in unlimited times and it never gets blurry. So that's the professional way to do this is to get those vector files, which is a PDF file that they send you as well. And they have excellent support and so on and so forth. Uh, let me know how you like this video. I, I'm gonna do more of these and I'm gonna create a bunch of logos for other people. But um, I, this is a truly an amazing um, uh, thing and I really, really love it.